So the more you're attached to those mind habits that you have, the more you suffer because you can't hold on to any of that stuff. And you see it during meditation if you watch closely. Because meditation is no different than your everyday life, moment to moment. Although we, as a technique, we use, well, let's all sit here in the room and look at the floor and breathe in and breathe out and say, clear mind, clear mind, clear mind, don't know, right? So that's just a, a technique. So are these precepts, they're a technique to reveal ourselves to ourselves. Because the person that nobody wants to meet in this room is very close to you. It lives right inside your own skin. So we're doing everything usually we can do to get away from meeting that person. Right? We're watching TV, we're drinking, we're taking drugs, we're running around like chickens with their heads cut off. There's all this kind of stuff, right? Right? So when you sit there, even for 30, 25 minutes, you may think, well, this is bullshit. I said, why, why, why aren't I at home watching the game? You know, right? Right? It happens all the time. Right? But the best thing that you're doing is sitting there watching what you really are. Because if you find the answer to that, then you find the meaning of life. So my teacher, Zen Master Sung Sung Wei, said, life has no meaning. Absolutely no meaning. And the reason he said that was because, watch what happens. If you watch it over a hundred year period, you'll notice that everything's always coming and going very fast. So was it meaningful to be part of the Soviet Union? Well, some people thought it was, most people thought it was crap, but they went along with it, and then, boom, it's gone, right, like that. Second most powerful country probably ever in history went away like that. One minute everything seems okay, the next minute they're up there with sledgehammers knocking down the Berlin Wall and everybody's dancing around and <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing just about happened to us two years ago, right? <laughs> it's like watching your 401k, you know, like, whoa, well, what happened to it? <laughs> so, it sounds funny, but in reality it always isn't so funny, especially when your body starts to go away. Or when friends die, or your parents die. So then you perceive that. Then once you realize that life has no meaning, then you can find true meaning. What Zen Master Sung Sung called, what we call in Buddhism, big meaning. And big meaning is in those second five precepts. Mm -hmm. And that's love and compassion for other people. And that comes out of the realization that all this stuff I want, and you want, and you want, and all the stuff you don't want is completely empty because it just comes and goes.